Summary of Master Harold and the Boys by Ethel Fugard It's the year 1950, Port Elizabeth, South Africa, is having a rainy day. Sam and Willie, two black waiters at the St. George's Park Tea Room, have some free time on their hands because not many people are coming in because of the bad weather. Willie works on his ballroom dance moves while Sam reads comic books. Willie learns the foxtrot from Sam, who is a little bit older and smarter. Willie is getting ready for the dance competition at the new Brighton Centenary Hall. Willie is upset that his dance partner, Hilda, hasn't been showing up to practice. He then admits that Hilda may be staying away because the last time they trained, he beat her for missing her steps. He thinks she has been going out with other guys. Sam tells Willie to stop beating him up. Hallie, the 17-year-old son of their boss, comes in wearing his high school outfit as Sam shows how much better he can dance. Hallie's dinner is a bowl of pea soup, which Sam brings to him. He also tells Hallie that his mother has gone to get his drunk, crippled father from the hospital. Because his father is meant to stay for three more weeks, the news seems to bother and worry Hallie. Hallie is upset that his father might come back, and he tells Sam that he must be wrong. People start talking about school and how Hallie got in trouble for drawing a funny picture of his teacher. Sam starts reading Hallie's math book, and the word magnitude takes him and Hallie quickly to what they both agree is a more interesting subject, history. They talk about different men of magnitude. Charles Darwin and Leo Tolstoy are Hallie's choices, while Abraham Lincoln and William Shakespeare are Sam's. Alexander Fleming, who found penicillin, is a genius, they both agree. The three of them act out some scenes from Hallie's childhood that took place in the servants' rooms of Sam and Willie. Sam and Hallie took turns being the student and the teacher, while Willie didn't pay as much attention to the lessons. When Hallie thinks back, he remembers a kite that Sam once made for him. He remembers how embarrassed he was to be seen flying a poor, homemade kite with a black man but how that feeling went away as soon as the kite took off. He remembers that as he flew the kite from a bench on a hill, he wanted Sam to stay with him longer. Hallie's mother calls from the hospital, and when she says that Hallie's father is coming home, she and Hallie fight. Hallie is very upset about what she heard. He starts to get mad at Sam and Willie, who are back at dance practice. When Hallie gets a task to write about Willie's dance competition, it takes his mind off of his bad mood for a while. Sam talks about the event in great detail and says that the dance floor is a small part of an ideal world where no one gets hurt. Hallie gets angry again and says that what they are saying about an ideal world is just so much bullshit. Hallie starts to be mean to Sam, even though Sam has gently told Hallie to be nicer when he talks about his father. Hallie says that Sam should start calling him Master Harold instead of Hallie. Then he tells a racist joke his father told him about a nigger's arse. He tells Sam and Willie that the joke is funny, but they don't get it. After Hallie did something mean again, Sam showed Hallie his own bottom. Then Sam adds more to Hallie's story about the kite, which it turns out he only remembers half of. Sam made the kite to distract Hallie after Hallie's drunken father caused an embarrassing scene, and he left the bench because it was only for whites. Hallie says that nothing has any point, and Sam, who is always calm, tells him to stop and think about it because a lot has been taught. Hallie has to go meet his parents, so he leaves the tea place. Willie decides to stop hitting Hilda after Hallie leaves. He will work hard with her to get ready for the game and do his best to win. He chooses to use his bus fare to buy a song from the jukebox. At the end of the play, the two guys dance together. Willie follows Sam's lead. About the author. Fugard was born in Middleburg, South Africa, which is in the Eastern Cape. Elizabeth, Athol Fugard's mother, owned a general store in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, called the St. George Tea Room, just like Hallie's mother in Master Harold and the Boys. Athol Fugard said in an interview after Master Harold came out that he wrote it in part to make up for a fight he had with a black friend and instructor named Sam who worked in his mother's store. Athol, who was 10 and went by the name Hallie at the time, got into a fight with Sam that ended with Athol spitting in Sam's face. Harold, Athol's father, was crippled, just like Hallie's father was in the play. 
He played jazz piano for a living. Athol went to the University of Cape Town to study philosophy and anthropology, but he dropped out before getting his degree so that he could travel. After traveling to Northern Africa, he worked for two years on the SS Gregor, a steamer ship. He would later write about this time in his books. But Fugard says that his time as a clerk in the Native Commissioner's Court in Johannesburg in the late 1950s and early 1960s made him very aware of racial unfairness. He has written more than 30 plays and a few books. Sheila, his wife, and Lisa, his daughter, are also writers. He lives with his wife in San Diego, California. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.